The Sky Shredder is one of the strongest monkeys in the game, especially for its price, which makes it a very popular tower for chimps runs on harder maps, but its cross paths serve two different purposes that we are covering today. To start, the 500 Ace can pop any type of balloon except for camos. He shoots 32 darts every 0.315 seconds that each have 5 pierce, deal 3 damage to balloons, and 5 damage to ceramics. On top of this, it shoots 2 anti mob missiles every 2 seconds that deal 150 damage to up to 5 blooms at a time. Now upgrading this guy to a 520 will give it camo detection, which allows it to pop every balloon in the game. Additionally, it gives it two more pierce on its anti mob missiles, which are now able to damage up to seven blimps at a time. Compare this to the 502, which gives it the centered path option and plus three pierce to every dart. Centered path is really only useful for advanced microing, so you can stop at a 501 if you want. But that extra three pierce from sharper darts is what makes this the preferred cross path, as it allows the ace to shred dense packs of ceramics that come out of mobs. In fact, the only time you should opt for a 520 sky shredder is if you do not have access to any external camo detection. This is pretty rare, but you would want the spy plane upgrade in this case. The two reasons why this is so rare is that you should always be getting a village in your runs if there is room, and because ETN pairs great with a sky shredder as he allows for good mid-game save up and gives global camo detection. What do monkeys think when they lose in free play? Are they proud of lasting so long, or are they sad that they lost anyway? 